presents the Met Open 100 Years. We're now approaching 800 entries for the Met Open. There are six different qualifying sites. A player would have to shoot even par, sometimes better, just to make it into the final field. I'm so happy that the past champions get an invite to get in it because it's the hardest tournament to qualify for. Everyone wants to play the Met Open. And everyone wants to win it. But now, for the many hopefuls, the clock is ticking. Their moment quickly approaching. You see the, the veteran club pros, you see the middle-aged young club pros, and you see the kids. Boy, everybody's young. They're fearless, they play hard, they're not intimidated by the veteran players. That's something you didn't really see that much in the, uh, in the 1970s. Uh, someone like Cameron Young, who's I think played in the last group two years in a row as a 16 and 17 year old. That was kind of mind blowing. The ultimate goal is obviously to win, but there's a lot of intermediate steps in there. It's a journey and it's something that, that I wanted to do since, since I saw my dad playing it. Back then, Cameron was the caddy, his dad's bag just as big as he was. Now, their roles are reversed, and it's the teen who has already fulfilled one goal, winning his first MGA major, the Ike. The maturity that he's shown over the last couple years at a young age, it's really impressive, and you know now it seems like he's uh, you know, in his late 20s playing some you know, terrific golf, and he's just getting ready to start a college career. There are literally 30 or 40 guys that have, have the game and the ability to come out on top. I know Max Buckley um, is playing some really good golf right now. I've only ever played in one. To me, Max is like a young Adam Scott. Made my pro debut at the Met Open last year. You, know, you get the best pros from the Met area. A lot of guys who are playing web.com tour if they've got a week off. It's a great barometer to see where you are. A win for Rob Labritz would complete a glowing local resume. He was the runner-up the last time the Met Open visited Wingfoot. Mark Brown is still the most quality of players we have in our area. I have a really good playing young assistant, Ben Pollan, who won the Bermuda Open over the winter. Uh, he's going to be gunning for it. Ben Pollan, at 24, held the lead for most of the PGA Professional National Championship in June until ultimately finishing second to Matt Dobbins, the Fresh Meadow head pro seeking his first Met Open title. Matt Dobbins, Grant Sturgeon, guys like that, you know, they play the game now the way the modern players play it, a lot of power, but, you know, can play the rest of the game too. Two men enter the Centennial Championship with a distinct home course advantage. One is the defending champion, Grant Sturgeon. Great player from Kentucky. And last year, I think, he opened everyone's eyes. My boy Grant here, uh, I, I could see him winning back-to-back -back Met Opens. The other, head professional and 2000 Met Open champion, Mike Gilmore. But it's been more than 50 years since a host professional claimed the title. Well, I know myself and all the, all the members here are pulling for him. He's, he's had so much success over the years, and this might be the week to where he, you know, kind of hoist the trophy again one more time. Well, this old sea dog here will, you know, give it his best effort. Even at Gilmore's advanced age, he's, he hits the ball a ton and he's seen the movie before. <laughs> when the curtain rises on this, the 100th edition of the Met Open, these talented contenders know that one thing is certain. If you want to be somebody around here, you got to win this tournament. Next on the Met Open, 100 years, Wingfoot's East Course, a preview. 